For algebra 2, geometry, Z unit is just a quadratic equation. It won't go by step by step. Um, full understanding of how we go from the standard form quadratic to um, the quadratic formula, which is the infamous one that you guys all know about. Basically, I made it to a simple step by step tutorial for you guys. And I'll be explaining in this video. So, yeah, without further ado, let's enjoy. Step 1, as you can see, the quadratic equation. You want to isolate x. So basically what you do here from step one, step two, you divide a on both sides. When you divide a, zero divided by a, so obviously zero, because zero divided by anything is zero. And that cancels out, and then you're left with which is step three, just what you look on the left side. So don't let it scare you. It might look like kinda of confusing because all the factors. So that's not to be scared about. And from step three to four, basically what are you doing? Is that you're um, yeah, you're subtracting c divided by a on both sides, and that's going to both sides of the equation. Uh, this is just step four from last time, and you can read down. So from here, step four, we want to do this is probably the hardest part. You want to add a b over two a squared, all in parentheses, on both sides. So basically, what it's saying is that b over two a squared, this thing. So kind of think of this way: if one plus one equals 1 plus 1, right? And then you plus a 2 here. You plus a 2 here. You're adding the same amount on both sides, and both sides are eventually going to equal 4. Right? So the, the equation still remains true. So the same thing is happening here. So what we're already doing is that you're adding something that's the same on both sides. Obviously, both things are the same here. And the same thing on both sides. And that's why this equation can remain the same. Another way to look at this is that you see if you have x squared plus bx divided by a, and then you're adding a b a squared, right? But then you also want to minus the b a squared. And the reason you're doing this is because when you have a minus b a squared on top of the b a squared, you're dividing this, so this will cancel out. So basically, you're adding you're adding this, but you're also minusing this. But what we can do is that you can add this side to the other side. Um, it's easier to show this in person, but basically all you can imagine is like, for example, if x squared is 1, bx over a is 2, then you're adding this thing, right? So you're adding 3, but you're also minus 3, because 3 minus 3 is going to easy because it's going to cross out. But instead of actually letting it cross out, you're adding the 3 to the other side, which is basically this thing. So that's also happening in step 5. We can go back to this uh, at the end of the video if you need help with this, but it's probably the hardest part. On from that step, all you want to do is that you combine this thing into this. So this is the equation you use, it's called the, polo the polynomials, right? So ax plus bx equals, that's wrong question actually. It's x squared plus two xy plus y squared, that's the equation. And that equals x plus y squared. Squared. So what's this basically causing? Whenever you unfoil this, which this is equal to x plus y, x plus y. When you multiply the this out, this should be equal to this, which it is. So say so here, this is basically this step, and then you change it into the parentheses step. I'm going to show you the math here. If you want to know, it'll be at the end of the video. So this will turn to this, and this time will remain the same. That's that's part of the hardest part of this. So if you don't get this now, then there will be some parts of the video at the end that explains this in better format. But moving on, step six, which is so the same. Step six to step, step, step seven, all you're doing is that you're actually putting the exponent of the power two into the parentheses. So the way you do this, you just put b to the power two, then two to the power two, and then a to the power two. Just remember, everything in parentheses, you want to do the power to two. So b to the power two will be b squared. Um, the 2 to the power of 2 is going to be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4 and then a squared so a to the power of 2 and from that step what you want to do is that you want to combine these two things because these are two different expressions right so you have two different units here not units I'm sorry two different um, things I should say like two different things that you want to combine and the way you want to combine this is that a common denominator you guys learn this in uh, elementary school when you're adding or subtracting fractions you must need a common denominator to do so and the common denominator we're going to use here is 4a squared. Because this is 4a squared, it's easier to go from a simplified number, our expression, into a more complex one. So the way we turn a to 4a squared is we multiply 
by 4. And what you do on the bottom, you must do on the top. So you're going to multiply it together like this. And multiply this, which brings to step 7, is going to equal, which is this is what we did earlier, it's going to equal to this thing, right? Don't mind this, this is copied from the last side. So this is equal to the negative 4ac and the 4a squared, right? Because when you multiply it in, this one is going to equal. And now that you have a common denominator, you can now put this into one unit, right? Like one whole, right? So it's not two different things. Like this is one thing, this is two things. Now it's only one thing, right? And as you have a whole, you can start seeing the quadratic formula, formula taking shape. So the, the way you add this, the bottom stays the same, it's the same unit, right? The top, what you're going to do, technically you can write this as negative 4ac plus b squared, but for um, for this video, it's for it to, easier for you to digest, to always write it in the classic formula the one that most people understand and most people recognize, which is b squared minus 4ac, right? And now you might be asking, what we should do on the left side? Well, that brings us to the left side, right? So for the next side, what you want to do, since we already got the top down, right, we got this done, we want to break this parentheses. And the way we break a power parentheses is that we square root it, right? You'll learn this in algebra 2, most likely. So when you do this, you just square root both sides. And when you square on this side, this will be gone, right? This will all be gone. So you're going to leave with this. But then whenever you do on one side, you must do on the other side. So now you have to square root this. And don't forget the plus and minus, because whenever you square root something, you always add a plus and minus. That's why that's there. And if I'm there, we simplify this. When you square root like this, like over the whole entire fraction, it's basically saying you square root both the top and the bottom. So that's self-explanatory. And from this step, you go to from here. 4 a squared is a really easy square. For the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of a squared is a, so 2a. And the top is the same. You, can't, you really can't do this. This is a singular a, singular c. So you can just leave this by itself. Uh, and once you have this, you can start seeing the equation is almost done, but we've got a few steps left. So from here, you go here. All you want to do is that you minus this, and when you do on one side, you must on the other side. So you minus this, and you move to this side. So that equals this. Usually, you can put this on the bottom too. You can put this behind here. So you can do like this, like this entire thing, and then plus, I mean, I'm sorry, minus b over 2a. And there, there you have it. That's a quadratic equation. Uh, you can also combine this due to the bottom both being 2a, right? You see it's 2a. Common denominator, you add it together, and that will equal to negative b plus or minus, or so plus or minus, and then uh, b squared minus 4a squared, square root b squared minus 4a squared, 4ac all over 2a. And that's how it all goes. And yeah, uh, as I promised, the first few like kind of kind of weird spots, I might edit, or edit this, or I may edit this if I have time, because I'm scheduled. So yeah, that's basically how we go from the standard version of quadratic formula, or quadratics, into the well-known quadratic formula. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm signing off. So basically, this step that we're going to do here, what we're going to do, explain how this must be, because this is the most confusing part of this transformation of the steps. So all you have to do here is you have a four to five step so for four to five. You're adding a b over two a squared on both sides. So you can do this because. Um, if you add something on both sides, you add the same things, you can subtract the same thing on both sides, you can divide the same things on both sides, you can, because they're going to be equal no matter what, right? So like 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 1 plus 2, like 4 plus 5 plus 3, you know what I'm saying? Like adding this 3 on both sides doesn't matter because you're not changing the equation. It's still going to be the same thing at the end of the day. It's still going to be equal, right? So, well, that was a really bad analogy, but you kind of get my point. So the reason you add this is that you make you can make this equation come this because this is a polynomial of this. If you do two of these multiply together, which is what square sum of lies times b over two a, right? This equals this thing, this entire thing. So the reason you put this is. One, this is loud, obviously, and you do this so you can transform the left side into this, and this just stays. 
So technically, this whole thing is still equal to this thing. You're just adding something that makes it transform. That's why it looks like that. And this is crucial because you need to know how to do this polynomial thing. Um, the rule for this is I'll teach you real quick. It's going to be um, parentheses a plus or minus b cubed. And this is going to equal a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. That's the equation here. And you can see that a squared in this equation is x, so x squared. And then 2ab is going to be 2ab here. And then b squared is going to be b squared. The, the entire b is just b over 2a. Two beats here, and that's how you get it. Yeah, that's the step.